Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Mr. Blue Podcast. I am your host, Mr. Blu-ray, and I thought of, I thought of another perfect episode to talk about on the podcast, and it is dedicated to the three most funniest guys I've ever met. Like, besides the Troll House, you know, like, Best in Class, Super Sound Diet Trickster, this episode is dedicated <laughs> to a, a new trio a microwave society man i can't stop laughing just because you know i binge watch their episodes every day um uh and by the time when this episode gets out they just put out their new episode and i did not like it <laughs> that's much it's uh sharknado um it's funny on their channel banner uh may- maybe when they were starting out they said they will release new episodes friday but guess what They've been releasing new episodes every Saturday, so I think they should really change that, don't you think so, guys? Uh, but it, it is very f- fitting for Saturdays for some reason, but unfortunately, though, whenever I, I work in the mornings and, like, get off in the evening, like, they always release them around, like, the afternoon, and I can't even catch them on time. Plus, they always live stream them, like, at least they're, like, prepared, like, pre- what do we call it, like, pre-recorded or whatever? I don't know, so... Oh my gosh, how did I come across these guys? Well, there's a very good answer to that. Uh, the credits goes to my, my brother, The Eradicator. Please go subscribe to him. I don't know why he doesn't talk about them on his channel, but like, he showed me a few of their earliest episodes back in the day. I guess late 2020, like, like Christmas time. So of course, if you guys have been watching Microwave Society since the, well, for four years since they've been around, um, they have, done veggie tales episodes so my brother has shown me the first like what three veggie tales episodes and there was the polar express um but i don't know why i didn't carry on watching them because my brother from time to time like he would show me their videos um and honestly this is the one thing that i can really connect with with my siblings because there's really nothing else we can connect with and plus me me and my sister again by the time when this video gets out like uh Thursday night, uh, we were just quoting upon quoting the lines from Micro Society. Like, I don't think I've never met anyone who would quote their lines, but like, if you met us and if like you heard us quoting the lines all day, like, you'd be impressed. Just because, like, <laughs> I-, I keep ta- I keep asking my siblings every weekend, like, did you see the new episode of MWS? <laughs> and whenever they review a specific movie that we wanted them to review for so long, where I was like, they finally watched it! Like, B-Movie, for example, like, they always, like, um... What was that word like? Uh, they, they, okay, they always claim that they would never uh, watch that movie, but they did, and it was worth the wait. <laughs> uh, a movie I do know that they're definitely not going to review is Shrek. They they made that pretty clear. Like, yep, yeah, that that franchise is just not worth reacting to. But if they did react to the first one, they would react the crap out of it. Like, yes. Because I've tried getting into Shrek growing up, but because of the stupid, stupid memes, that's what ruined the franchise for me, basically. I tried watching at least one movie, but it just wouldn't work. So, okay, so how did I really get into these guys besides my brother showing me this? Well... (laughs) Again, I wish I would have invested in them after my brother showed me them, but... Early 2022 was when I kind of, I guess, rediscovered them because I was really bored with like, I'm, I'm in like in a, like in a, in a state where like, if, if I'm just so bored, I have nothing else to watch. But then I remember like, Hey, there's microwave society. I could watch them. So I, I started rewatching their episodes that my brother showed me. And then since then I've been watching their episodes. I haven't watched every video because, oh man. Uh, there's just so many, but, like, there's so many good ones out there, though, guys. Like, again, like, the VeggieTales ones that, like, they've reviewed, like, I, I do not expect them to review every single episode of VeggieTales, no. Uh, just, just, uh, like, some of, like, the really important specific ones, like, um, you know when they review Jonah, and, like, if you're, if you're gonna review Jonah, you better review the pirates who don't do anything, and they did last fall, and I'm happy that they did. Um, unfortunately, though, with their Larry Boy review, they only reviewed the first two ones, you know, the fit from outer space and the rumor weed. They did not include the bad apple. Like, that one is an instant classic as well. Review the whole, like, original trilogy of Larry Boy, right? 
And they should really write more songs. Like, oh my gosh, because like I was still like investing in them in 2022. <laughs> oh my gosh, I I hope you guys have heard their song. It's called uh, Two Things, and it, it's it's like a making like have fun, making fun of like parody type song. Well, I don't know about parody, but like it's 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 pretty funny. Of course, they, they do script some of their episodes, like the High School Musical one, um, the Amazing Bulk, and uh, Fish Tale. Or is it Fish Tales? I don't know. I'm not going to watch that movie. <laughs> and it's funny. Before Amazon did this, um, yes, you you could still buy music on the Amazon app back in the day. And I should have seen this coming when they had the price for it. It was $0.69. Cents. And, of course, guys, if, if you've been watching them for a long time, you get the inside jokes. Like, 69 is one of them. And... Uh, Whoa, Yankee with no brim and like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, oh man, if I had to pick like a top three, I mean, the FNAF video is definitely my, my top one review just because like th I knew they were going to review it and like it, they, they made it like, I guess. 10 times better in a way. I don't know. I still love the movie. I still love the movie, right? Uh, again, there are some movies that they reviewed, and I've watched the actual movies themselves. And, like, the, the again, MWS just made them 10 times better. I believe maybe my second favorite episode from them is the Morbius one. Uh, I'm happy I watched that movie first. And then when they reviewed it, like, I got all the jokes. I got, I get the memes, but, like, I love Morbius, guys. Like, just because, like, uh, I never heard of the character when Jared Leto played that character for the first time. Like, I, I want there to be more sequels. Yes, I, I am being serious, guys. I want them to make more sequels of Morbius. Like, um, I even made my statements pretty clear when I made my Morbius versus Venom video. Like, yes, like, the Venom movies are pretty cool, too. Like, they're pretty funny. Like, they're, they're like, horror comedy movies. Well, the villain verse up to this point, they're all, um horror comedy movies, right? But, um, Madam Web is going to be standalone, right? So, um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to have any horror in it, but like Craven the Hunter is going to be rated R. It could still be a horror comedy movie, guys. And of course, you know, a Venom 3 coming out this Halloween, you, you know, that's, that's going to be another horror comedy movie. So like, keep them going. But you know, as long as they're good movies, you know, I, I don't have a problem, but release, re release them into director's cuts. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I like their Morbius video. I think they should review more Marvel movies in general. Like, I think they should review the entirety of the MCU. I don't expect them to review, like, any of the TV shows, but if they wanted to, they could. But just, like, just start with Iron Man and go up to current, you know? I even left a comment on their latest video, like, that they, they should. Um, my third favorite video from them... Oh my gosh, this is the top three, right? So... Oh man, what would be number three? I haven't really thought of this, guys. Like this is literally on the spot. But I, I, I knew what my first two was. But like I should have like come prepared with my top three. I think my final verdict for number three in the top three of my favorite MWS videos is um, the Jonah video. Um, again, that one was just well, all of them are like they. Were, it was just so well made, like. Um, even the jokes really stand out the most in that, like, geez. Um, and I, I just love how, of course, they are self-aware of, like, their, their past work and all that, and, like, life, I guess. <laughs> and I don't know why, for two years straight, I have not bought their merch. Like, I should at least get a t-shirt, and I love how they, they just, they just, like, shamelessly, uh, plug in, like, their merch and all that. Like, I, I should be getting their hats, I should be getting their... Um, I guess like their water mug that says butt fart on it. <laughs> of course, I, sh I follow them on, um, social media, right? Like Instagram. Um, I really relate a lot with Jude just because like I am unfazed most of the time. And I, I, I just like my siblings, like they, they make a lot of, they r repeat jokes that I get, but like, they're just so annoying. And that joke, whenever Brendan and Josiah, um, keep making like comeback jokes jude <laughs> sometimes like he just gets annoyed <laughs> like especially in the jonah video 
Now, I do want to say some things about these guys. Now, of course, I don't know them personally, but I, I really wish I could talk to them. Uh, I've had Discord before, but like, uh, I still need to work the kinks out of it. So eventually when I do reinstall it again, I'll have to work it out. Um, I don't know. I just want to get these pointers out. Like, their type of content... I think the average person would say, oh, it's just made for, like, autistic people, right? Like, other people, they won't get it. Like, honestly, that's just a bad stereotype. Like, you you would look at other YouTube channels, and then you would stereotype, like, oh, this channel is for, like, autistic people. Like, no, that's not the case. Like, MWS is for everybody. And honestly, modern-day Christians should watch MWS. And I am left to believe that they are part-time Christians because uh, they, they bring up... Christianity in the Bible a lot in their videos. Uh, not every video, but like they bring it up and like they, they are aware of what's going on in the world and, and that they, they make fun of the stuff like the quote unquote bug and everything that's associated with it or like affiliated with it. Like, yes, there's a good reason why uh, they make fun of it. So if you're easily butt hurt, um, then don't watch the channel because if you believe in that crap, then uh, just don't don't watch MWS because they're gonna continue making fun of that crap. You know, <laughs> oh man. Also, with with, with the guys themselves, uh, Josiah outside of the internet has been accused so many times because he is. I, I like to say middle eyed. Like I know the preferred term is cross eyed. Like or I like to think lazy. But like. Um, there's a video that he mentioned, like, in the past he's had bad, um, eyesight and he had to wear prescription glasses. And, you know, I, I believe his vision is obviously better now, but, like, he's still, like, cross-eyed. So, and, and, and somebody said, like, oh, he, 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 he fakes it every video. Like, how can someone fake that? Sure, if you were making, like, a comedy sketch video and if you were doing that all the time, that would make sense. But how could somebody be faking a condition like that? You know, if my sister wanted to for a whole day, well, I know it's not good for you, but like for a whole day, if she wanted to, she could like be cross-eyed for a whole day, you know? And then pe of course people will question her like, oh, how, how long have you been like that? Like, again, that makes sense. But like, if, if you're judging someone who is really cross-eyed and if they still have, um, bad eyesight, you can't be doing that. Okay. I, sure, like, I get the joke, like, are you blind as a bat? But, like, if, if, if you're really making fun of them like that, then you're, you're not really human, so please don't ever do that. And with Jude, he is lactose intolerant. Sure, it's another inch side joke on the channel, but, like, he is lactose intolerant. That's like saying, like, that's like saying, oh, Jude is faking being lactose intolerant because anytime the, the word milk comes up, like, he talks about his lactose intolerant, right? And, of course, um, I don't check the comments, but I know that there's people in the comments that would spam, like, milk to, to Jude. And, guys, there's a fact about this. Milk, it's not the only thing that gives you strong bones. Sure, it helps out with your teeth, but, like, you guys start, you guys start thinking that milk is the only source that helps you get strong bones. Like... There's a lot of f facts to back this up. Like even the Got Milk commercials from the early days, they 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 were trying to prove like, oh, like milk help gives you strong bones. Like that may be true in some cases, but like you can't expect a person with lactose intolerant level to to drink milk. Okay, like yes, there's silk free, soy free, uh, goat's milk, rice milk, like almond milk. Like m my dad every day has to take almond milk, right? Well, I don't think he's lactose intolerant, but because of the age that he is, he has to take it. And my brother, I believe, has to take almond milk. Um, I'm not lactose intolerant because if I was, I wouldn't be eating a lot of things. But, like, I've been taking, like, whole milk, but, like, um, you know, like the lactose-free stuff for a few years just because my, my previous doctor recommended to me, or I shouldn't say recommended, like, told me that I should. And, again... Somebody who used to be my friend back in the day, they were judging me and making fun of me because I was on that, like, how would you feel if I made fun of your medical condition, huh? Like, oh, it's just a phase, like, oh my gosh. I, sometimes I, I do go back to, like, the regular milk, like, again, I don't know if it's because my body is changing, but, like, uh, no, I'm not lactose intolerant, guys. Um, one of these days, I'll go back to, like, drinking regular milk and, yeah. And whole milk is actually good for you, so 
Don't tell me it's not otherwise. And Brendan, there's really not much to say, but I mean, like, if you look at his upper teeth, I remember getting into that, like, it, it bothered me for a while, like, his, like, his two front teeth, like, um, one is, like, I'll, 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 I'll make sure, like, to put, like, if there's any pictures I'll put up, I'll, I'll put, but, like, um, like, one tooth is, like, more in front than the other, like, but it's fine, you know, people, they have, like, different, I guess, styles of teeth, if you want to call it, like, it's fine, you know, there's nothing wrong with his teeth, so obviously he can't fake that, so yeah, that that's just the points I wanted to get on this, like, I, I, I devoted myself to, like, if I'm ever going to make this episode, I need to talk about the stuff that goes on with these guys, because they're genuinely funny guys, you know, this is something that, you know, me and my brother and Lego train guy, we kind of want to do something like this together. Like, obviously not rip off MWS, but just, like, make our own funny comedies videos like this. Speaking of which, like, um, <laughs> you know, my, my sister, she, she's, she's a lot like Josiah in a way, you know, and, and my, of course my brother, he's a lot like Brendan in so many ways. Uh, and like I said, I, I like relate a lot with Jude, so that makes sense. But Josiah is definitely my favorite for sure. Um, Speaking of which, Josiah, why did you shave your whole beard, like, late 2022? What was the reason for that? Um, in almost every episode, me and my siblings, Josiah, if you ever watch this, uh, and I'm pretty sure you acknowledge this too, there's a certain flag that we see. I'm not going to say it, but there's a certain flag in the background. It's probably not a big deal to you. Maybe a fan gave it to you or whatever, but, like, we hope, we hope that you're not who we think you are because... Because if you are, then why are you still making the jokes with Jude and Brendan, huh? Like, please, please don't go down that path, okay? Like, please, we we all beg of you, man, so just don't do that. Please grow back your beard, like, please confirm stuff to us. Like, I even pointed out in the comments in one of your other videos, so please, please, Josiah... Don't, don't throw us off, okay, because that, that's, that's, that's just gonna, that's just gonna send, like, bad messages, red flags, you know, all that, so please just, just don't, don't, don't be, in other words, don't be stupid, <laughs> okay, um, of course, there are some other members that pop up on the channel, um, oh my gosh, freaking Tea Comfy, I still hate him, guys, he, he would somewhat occasionally pop up in the videos, but like, I just don't like him. He is just so annoying. He's just really annoying. Like how, how can, how can the, the, this trio allow him to be on the channel? You know? Um, and, uh, Thomas, who's a British, uh, editor, like he, he edits their videos sometimes and he's just really annoying too. I did not like his reactions when it came to like FNAF. Like honestly, MWS, you should have picked a different guy to react, you know, uh, maybe a fellow FNAF YouTuber, <laughs> who knows, um, I can't name every single, like, other members on the channel that they do pop up sometimes, but, like, just letting you know, it's not just them, but almost every video is the trio, if there's, like, a try not to laugh challenge, or maybe, like, gaming videos, and if it's just, like, two of either or of them, just know, like, yeah, they're... <laughs> Uh, not all of them are going to pop up, but I do love their Uno video where, like, it, it's just the four of them, right? Including T Comfy. And he's getting totally annihilated. And I introduced Tegan to these guys last year, and he loves that episode. Like, he's just, like, laughing hysterically, like, oh my gosh. Tegan even loves the FNAF review that they've done. Like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yep. We're not, we got another person in the community, guys. Woo! Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm hoping that this year I'll buy their merch. Uh, just because like I've been a dedicated fan for so long. And um, I think it's time that I get myself merch, you know. Because 
what when I was when I was a fan of Balin's for a long time, like I finally got a piece of merch of his. Like that that counts that counted as something, but like I, I knew I need to get more merch. So like uh, I, I want to make sure my siblings get merch too, you know? <laughs> um Yeah, it's just these guys are super funny, like like definitely I guess more of the peak of comedy, let's say, like um Sure, the peak of comedy for me will always stick with the the Troll House for sure. Um, I'm not saying they're number one, but like the peak of comedy would um, would come out in various YouTubers, right? And when Jude and Josiah review their old channels, um, honestly, those are channels I would have watched as a teenager. Because I love old YouTube. I love like 2008 through 2014 YouTube where like it's it was like crappy quality but like good in a way like it's nostalgic like um man I totally would have loved Jude's videos um Josiah's videos were like especially when they made the cracker fight and I've tried looking up their channels and they're just not up even when you try looking up what is it like Bumblebee 91000 sure youtube would highlight it but as soon as you look it up it's not there so Judah and josiah why can't you just i don't know leave those channels up but just just take disable the comments you know like i'm sure like there your other fans are just dying to see your old content right like and just like and i know there's dedicated fans like in general when it comes to popular people they're like oh no i would have loved this back in the day man like it wouldn't be cringy at all like like seriously like me as a 23 year old like i would want to watch their videos like man this is pretty good you know (laughs) yeah (laughs) um it's unfortunate that brendan never started youtube in his early days that would have been awesome um Seriously, like, these are the type of dudes that you want to be friends with um, and definitely want to go to church with. Because I feel like these would be the type of dudes that would make church ten times fun, you know? Um, Again, I wish I knew them personally because they're just extremely funny. Hopefully one of these days, one of these days, guys, I want to be featured on their channel as a guest star, react to something with them. like, And if they will let let me pick out a movie that they will want us to react. Like, that'd be so cool, guys. Because, again, they have, like, a couple of guest stars on, too. Like, man. <laughs> um, so, it's not it's not that far-fetched, guys. I just need to reach out to them more, and, like, hopefully they'll respond. And, like, of course, it's going to be Discord, but, like, um, I really need to know how to use it, you know? It's been around for a long time, and I really just need to learn how to use it. <laughs> Um, (laughs) all right, guys, I think this will pretty much wrap up this episode. So thank you so much for listening in guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to like comment and subscribe. If you had already, please definitely go subscribe to MWS if you haven't already. And, uh, tell me, tell me in the comments, guys, if you've been watching them since 2020, who is your favorite member of microwave society? Is it Jude? Is it Brendan or is it Josiah or is it both or like all three? And which one of the, I guess, characters, if you will, like, um, relate to the most? And honestly, with Brendan, besides Josiah, Brendan is, like, his own cartoon character. Like, even the expressions that he m- makes, like, his faces and his his Scottish accent, like, oh, man, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, man. Like I said, I definitely want to be friends with these guys for sure. Um, again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks, bye-bye. May the Lord be with you guys. Always love you guys. Peace out, guys. Remember to lick this video. And uh, just like what they would say, have a day.